If you've been following fitness influencers, you've probably heard that creatine is like the god's nectar for your strength and muscle gains. But then comes the fear. Miss a day and you could set your progress back by 30 days, they say. The problem is there's a lot of hype, but also a lot of myths around creatine. So let's bust some of those myths. First, let's look at the main benefits of taking creatine daily. First, creatine is highly effective at enhancing exercise performance. Studies show that even less than two weeks of taking creatine has good effects in terms of strength and endurance. According to one such meta-analysis, the average increase in muscle strength was 8% higher than that with just resistance training. Also, the average increase in muscular endurance was 14% higher than with resistance training. That's because creatine helps regenerate adenosine triphosphate, the primary energy source for high-intensity exercise. And being able to train harder also means you'll gain more muscle mass. But creatine also specifically helps build that muscle mass by itself. According to studies cited by Healthline, creatine increases protein formation, which your muscles depend on to grow. Besides, creatine promotes a hormone called insulin-like growth factor, which helps you put on muscle mass. Also, creatine makes your muscles retain water, which technically doesn't grow them, but definitely makes them look bigger. Research suggests that creatine may also improve cognitive function, especially during periods of mental stress or fatigue. One of the largest randomized control trials had participants take 5 grams of creatine per day for 6 weeks. The study showed improved abstract reasoning skills and better working memory in people supplementing with creatine, particularly older adults. The article I previously mentioned from Healthline mentions other potential cognitive benefits of taking creatine. The problem is that these benefits haven't been scientifically proven to exist for humans, though there are some animal studies for them. Basically, creatine has been shown to improve dopamine levels and decrease phosphocreatine in the brain. That means it can potentially improve symptoms of several neurological disorders, like Parkinson's, Huntington's, and Alzheimer's diseases, as well as the effects of ischemic stroke and epilepsy. Lastly, another study says that creatine can dramatically reduce fatigue. Subjects took 5 grams of creatine four times per day for seven days, and then they had to stay up for 24 hours. The group that took creatine performed as usual afterward, without any of that fatigue-induced frustration or brain fog. By comparison, the other group did much worse. That said, creatine is not a perfect supplement. Here are the risks to watch out for. First, that water retention that makes your muscles look pumped can be good, if you want the pump look. However, it can also make you gain 1-3 to three kilos in the first few weeks and also create a bloating or puffy feel. People have also reported digestive problems like bloating, diarrhea, or stomach cramps. This tends to happen with high doses during the loading phase or when creatine is taken on an empty stomach. You should be able to avoid this by splitting the dose throughout the day or lowering the dosage. A more serious issue is a potential kidney strain, but this mostly happens if you have pre-existing kidney dysfunction. Creatine increases the level of creatinine, which is used as a marker for kidney function, leading to misconceptions that it can damage kidneys. However, multiple studies have found no negative impact on kidney health in healthy individuals. People with existing kidney issues, on the other hand, should consult their doctor before using creatine. Lastly, some people report experiencing muscle cramps or strains while taking creatine, especially when not staying hydrated. This may be linked to water retention in muscles, so remember to drink plenty of fluids to counteract this potential side effect. That said, a lot of people new to exercise ask me if creatine really is necessary, especially if they want to build their muscle mass a little. The answer to that depends on your goals. For many people, especially beginners, creatine is not strictly necessary. The point is it can give you a significant advantage, especially if you do high-intensity weightlifting, sprinting, or heat. Creatine enhances your ability to generate adenosine triphosphate, which if you followed this channel, you know is the body's energy currency. Basically, you need it for more explosive movements, lifting heavier and quicker recovery between sets. However, if you're a casual exerciser who focuses on moderate cardio and doesn't care too much about hypertrophy, creatine may not offer as many benefits. Its primary role is in boosting short bursts of high effort activities, so it's less useful in endurance or steady state exercise. Of course, you could take creatine for its cognitive benefits. 
This aside, another question I'm asked is, when should you take creatine? I admit that timing your creatine intake is a huge topic of debate in the fitness community, much like the post-workout protein window. However, research shows creatine can be effective before and after exercise. Some studies suggest that taking creatine post-workout, when your muscles are primed to absorb nutrients, may offer a slight edge in muscle mass and strength gains. However, I feel consistency is more important than timing. Taking 3 to 5 grams daily ensures that your muscles remain saturated with creatine, maximizing its benefits over time. Besides, you can take creatine at any point during the day, but combining it with a meal or post-workout shake may improve absorption due to the insulin spike that helps shuttle creatine into muscles. If you're doing a loading phase, meaning you take about 20 grams per day for the first 5 to 7 days, I recommend splitting the dose into smaller servings throughout the day to prevent gastrointestinal discomfort. And that's it from me. Now I want to hear from you and your experience with creatine. Tell me if you take it, how much per day, and what benefits or side effects you noticed. Don't forget to also like this video and subscribe to the Fitness D channel. Your support is really appreciated and every tiny interaction here helps me grow and produce more high-quality, science-backed content. So, thanks again and see you in the comments.